hello guys and welcome back so now let's add the animation for shooting open and see rifle script and at the top we need a reference to the animator so right in here we will say public animator animator we will name it as animator as well then down below right here inside the update function right here when we are shooting then let's play the shoot animation so we will say animator.set will file we will set the file to true and the idle to false and then after this we will say else if and what we will do in the else if right here we will say that if we are firing and also walking then we want to activate the fire walk animation so we will say else if we are firing and walking and also it means or so if we hold down the w button or the up arrow button okay then what we want to do we will simply set the idle to false and we will set the fire walk to true and after this what we will say we will say that if we are firing and also if we are aiming then what we will do in that case okay input for that to print down fire 2 and fire 1 so if we are firing and aiming then we will set the idle to false of course we will set the idle aim to true we will set the fire walk to true as well and this is because that when we are aiming and firing and then if we stop firing or aiming then also we want to walk okay fire walk okay? if we are firing and walking or if we are aiming and walking then we want to uh, play this fire walk animation after this we also want the walk to be true and the reloading want that to be false when we are aiming and firing then we don't want to reload after this let's add the else block and in the else block we will simply set the fire to false either to true and then fire block to false as well after this let's add the reloading animation so right here we will say animator.set bool reloading true and when we are done reloading then we will set the reloading to false that's it now let's go ahead to the switch cameras and right here create a header by the name of camera animator and a public reference to the animator right here we need some animations as well so if we are aiming and walking then what we want to do we will set the idle to false idle aim to true rifle walk to true and we walk to true as well and the reason i am copying and pasting this is because we did that already so many times and now you know how to add animations okay after this let's add a else if and inside this else if what we will do right here we will simply say that if we are just in then what we will do if we are just aiming then we want these things to be the same but we will use different animation for example the other will be set to false idle aim will be set to true this time rifle walk will be false and the walk will be false as well because we are just aiming so we will set the idle aim to true only okay and then when we are not aiming then it means that the third person camera is activated so it means that either we are in the idle or walking so we will set the idle to true and the idle to will be set to false which is idle aim and rifle walk so now simply save this now all of animations will work correctly okay 
now let's click on the player let me minimize that let's open up this rifle we need to provide the animator there so we can simply drag and drop the player and in the rifle we also want to drag and drop the animator and let's click on this okay we already have a sand animator there in the previous video so we are good to go let's play the game and you will notice that when we don't have any rifle as you can see the player is just punching okay we can't aim we can't shoot we just punch okay now let's go ahead and pick up the rifle okay now we have the rifle picked up let's come right here now as you can see it is playing the animation let me show you the animator tab right here as you can see idle is now playing but if we uh, do this as you can see now the idle aim is set to true and if we stop aiming then we are in the idle now let's aim and let's walk towards that point as you can see now the rifle walk is being played as you can see now we are walking and <coughs> When we stop walking right here, we are still aiming. Let's shoot it. As you can see, we can shoot as well. And when we stop aiming, and simply if we want to shoot that, let's shoot it. As you can see, it is playing the fire animation. And it plays the reload animation as well. Let's finish up the magazine. And you will notice that now it is playing the reloading animation if you saw it. Okay now everything looks really beautiful as you can see now we can walk we can fire walk we can just simply aim as well we can aim and fire and we can fire and walk we can we are not reloading okay let's and the reload is done let's walk and fire now as you can see it's the player stop by itself okay and when the reload is done and just then walk again the player can walk again and now as you can see we are shooting that building now the player is reloading let's shoot again and as you can see let's aim and shoot okay so now all of our animations works completely fine as you can see okay we can shoot wherever we want now with our animations done now our player controller is fully completed our rifle controller is also fully completed we can we have now a character which we can control we can also control shooting punching etc etc you see all of that and with this done, see you guys in the next video.